Kia ora koutou. In this video, we will look at the malleability of metal. So malleability, this is just a definition I got from Google, is the ability of a substance to be shaped into something else without breaking. So effectively, if we're applying a force to something and we can reshape it and the, the substance does not break, uh, then that substance is said to be malleable. So we will use our model of um, of metals to describe this. So this is a what we've gone over before. So we've got the what's well actually a 3D lattice, but we're just showing a 2D version of it of these uh, metal cations surrounded by a sea of these negatively charged electrons. So what we're going to do is apply a force to the metal. So I'll apply a force from this angle. Imagine I've just got a hammer and smashed the the metal. What's going to happen is this layer of cations or layer of atoms will move across it so it moves across until the force has stopped being applied um, so the the layer of cations has moved from where it was before to here now and we can see that these electrons they are still between the layers and so these cations are still being attracted to there is still the attraction between the cations and the electrons so these metallic bonds the non-directional, as we've said before, the non-directional metallic bonds are still held in place. So the shape of this metal will have changed, but the, the structure will have held together. So this is not shattered, this is still, these bonds are still held well in place. We'll have a look at a past exam question that goes over this. So um, this is from last year's exam. Sodium is malleable, whereas sodium iodide is not. You can have a look at the um, ionic compound video to, to find out about how do you would explain sodium iodide but um sodium is malleable so we, what we need to do with any properties any question about the properties of metals or any substance is to start with a sentence describing um the structure and bonding of the substance so we would say sodium is is made of of atoms um in a 3d lattice Uh, non-directionally held together by non-directional metallic bonds and remember we can also say the other example um, talking about cations in a sea of electrons so we could say sodium is made up of cations uh, cations non-directionally and electrostatically uh, attracted to a surrounding sea of electrons. Um, so what we so we've started off by describing the structure and bonding of of the metal. We now need to talk about why it is that that metal is malleable. So we would say um, if a force is applied to the metal. Force is applied to the metal, a layer is able to shift without. So we're not disrupting those non-directional metallic bonds. So the important part is that those those bonds are staying in place. So we'd say without disrupting the non-directional, probably don't need to write that twice, but metallic bonds. Um, and so we'd say, therefore, sodium is malleable. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe for more Chemistry 2.4 videos.